What's up, everybody? Charlie Marlowe here. Emotional day for Cardinal Nation with the passing of the great Whitey Herzog at the age of 92. The White Rat, one of the great nicknames in all of sports and baseball. And Whitey certainly was one of the, the great personalities, the colorful personalities in the sport. And what a career across being a player, coach, manager, general manager, touching all the different aspects of the game. Most beloved here in St. Louis for the Whitey Ball teams of the 80s, the running Redbirds, and the 82 championship, that's the year I was born, but World Series 85, 87, that fun style of baseball that St. Louis loves, speed, defense, hitting the ball in the gap, running around on the turf, Bush Stadium there, even the uniforms, right, with the uh with the uh the pullover jerseys and the uh the powder blues from back then, everything about that era. Ozzie Smith and Willie McGee and Terry Pendleton and and all those guys, uh Vince Coleman, all those guys that that made that team and those teams so much fun. And uh after the Cardinals weren't weren't good, remember in the seventies, you know, great in the sixties, bad in the seventies, and then Whitey brought great baseball back to St. Louis. Had the honor to to talk with Whitey tons of times and interview him over the years and opening days and different events and coming into Fox Two and on the radio and and I'm telling you, I I don't remember the last time I spoke with Whitey in person. It might have been. It might have been opening day of 21. That might have been the last time I spoke with him. I, I can't remember. But I just know sharp as a tack the last time I saw him. So that would have been, what, probably 89, 90 years old. And then I've, I've heard him on interviews and whatnot. And, man, he still knew the game. He knew what was going on with the Cardinals. You'd ask him about the Cardinals game. He could talk about what happened in the sixth inning. He'd talk about pitching changes. A really bright guy. Very sharp, uh, all the way. I, I'm guessing up until his death. Again, I haven't I haven't been around in the last couple of years or so. But uh, you know, it's also tough because the history of baseball matters so much here in St. Louis, and the Red Jackets and all that on Opening Day. We just had Opening Day what a week or so ago, and uh, man, a lot a lot of losses of legends on that front in the last uh, four or five years or so. Really, if you go back to COVID. I mean, Stan Musial was was much longer ago. What was that about? Was that 10, 11, 12 years ago? I can't remember exactly. But then around COVID and since, you've lost Bob Gibson and Lou Brock and Tim McCarver and Bruce Suter and now Whitey Herzog. So many guys. And I may have left some, some people out. Don't mean to, obviously. But uh, man, just those iconic names from the 60s and then Whitey the manager in the 80s but so much great Cardinals history we we've, we've lost a, a lot of those legends over the last 4 or 5 years um man just just the look of Whitey like back in the day I remember baseball cards so I was born in 82 and uh I remember baseball cards of Whitey had that that flat top and just kind of see him around the ballpark. And, uh, you know, he, he had lost his, his hearing a little bit. So he always kind of had to kind of talk loud and sometimes talk into his ear. And sometimes he would, hey, uh, you know, just because you had to repeat yourself. But, uh, man, you could tell super sharp in his, in his mind and his, his baseball brain. And then you just think about, man, how he revolutionized the game. And as I'm looking through his bio here, what played in the majors for seven, eight years? New Athens, Illinois, which is you know close by here, in St. Louis. But then I didn't I didn't know about uh, him being what the director of player development, whatever his title was there with the Mets in the '60s. So he helps put together that Mays and Mets '69 championship team, and then what he did with the Royals, what he did with the Cardinals, and just. Uh, beloved, beloved by Cardinal Nation and all the fans, as he should be. Because, man, he was, he was one of those larger-than-life personalities. And uh, I, don't remember, I don't remember the Whitey Ball teams 
in terms of watching them, obviously, because again, they win it the year I was born. I mean, 85, I'm three, 87, I'm, I'm freaking five years old. Plus I'm not, I'm not from St. Louis. So I was paying more attention to, to Tigers baseball, Detroit Tigers baseball in the, uh, the early nineties. And I guess, I guess, I guess late eighties, I remember a little bit, but I want to hear from you guys and gals in the comments. Give me your best whitey stories. What what do you what are you thinking? What are you feeling on a day like this? And obviously not not a big surprise. He was uh, he's ninety two years old. That's a, that's a hell of a run. That's a hell of a life for for Whitey Herzog. Ninety two years old, lived a full life, and accomplished so much across all different jobs in baseball. Hall of Famer. Uh, baseball Hall of Famer, which happened more recently here. What was that? Maybe 10 years ago or so. Again, I don't remember the exact dates, but I remember I was working at Fox 2 at the time, and Martin Kilcoin went there to uh, to cover that. And all the, the red jacket appearances over the years, you'd see him with his, uh, with his sunglasses on down there, uh, just having fun and, and laughing with all those guys. And now they're having that same, uh, those same baseball conversations up there, all right, there it is. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give me your best Whitey stories. Give me your memories. If you want to put your own tributes there in the comments to the great Whitey Herzog, the white rat, passes away a Cardinal legend at the age of 92. See you guys.